Geometry number 150, layout of a proof, isosceles trapezoid congruent base angles. We've got a layout of a proof here. We've got our drawing, which I've doctored up a little bit, but basically it's a trapezoid. We've got a line here, AD and BX, that we've drawn an imaginary parallel line. And we've got our given right here. And we've got our statements and reasons here, and we're going to cover all this, okay? So let's take a look at the drawing, okay? Let's take a look at the given, and we'll go back to the drawing. The given says that ABCD is a trapezoid. It is a trapezoid. That line AB is parallel to DC. AB is parallel to DC, okay? and that AD, line AD, is congruent to BC. Line AD is congruent to BC. So, the two parallels, I drew purple lines here so that you could see that, and the ones that are congruent, I drew orange lines. See that? So that you could see them easier, okay? So, what we need to prove is that angle A is congruent to ABC. That angle A, up here, see? is congruent to ABC. We have to prove that these two top angles are congruent, okay? That's what all of this is. So, before you begin, draw a line parallel to AD and name it BX, okay? Draw a line parallel to AD and name it BX. So we've got our dotted imaginary line there that we've added to the original drawing that wasn't there before, okay? This drawing is going to help us so, the first thing we've got is that ABCD is a trapezoid. Well, that was given. See that? Given. The next thing we've got, number two, is that line AB is parallel to DC. AB is parallel to DC. That's given. And that, that's the purple one, and that's the orange one. AD is congruent to BC. Okay? We covered that. These are congruent, and these are parallel. Okay? So, what we're going to put here is that AD is parallel to BX. BX. They're drawn to be parallel. AD is parallel to BX. Because we drew them that way, remember, to help us solve this. So, AB, XD is a parallelogram. AB, XD is a parallelogram. See it? Kind of slanty there. Those are parallel, those are parallel, so it's a parallelogram. The reason? Opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. So, AD is congruent to BX. AD is congruent to BX. See it there? Because opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. BC is congruent to BX. BC is congruent to BX. That's the transitive property, okay? If you don't remember what that is, that was in video number 29, way back, because we're on number 150 right now, but go back to my video of geometry number 29 to learn about the transitive property, or look it up in your textbook or online. But it's saying that BC is, is congruent to BX, okay? Like an isosceles triangle, okay? Angle BXC, BXC, that's this corner one here, is congruent to angle C. BXC is congruent to angle C. So it's saying that angle is congruent to that angle. Okay? Angles opposite congruent sides are congruent. That's in video number 81. Okay? The angles opposite congruent sides are congruent. Number 8. Angle D is congruent to BXC. Here, D is congruent to the inside one here by X. That little, see the blue? That angle is congruent to the inside of that one that, of our imaginary line. The re if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, DC, corresponding angles are congruent. Now that's in video number 20 of my geometry series, if you don't know, okay? So, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. Number nine, angle D is congruent to angle C. 
Angle D in this bottom corner is congruent to angle C. The reasoning is the transitive property, again, in video number 29. Okay? So this angle is congruent to this angle because of the transitive property. 10. Angle D is supplementary to A. Angle D is supplementary to A because A and D are supplementary angles. They total 180 degrees. Remember what supplementary is? Angle C is supplementary to angle ABC. Angle C down here is supplementary to this one up here. Angle B right up in this corner, ABC. These are supplementary. That one and that one totals 180. Our reasoning is if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal interior angles on the same side of a transversal, they're supplementary. Watch videos number 21 and 22, okay? That'll explain that. Do you remember about transversals? So our bottom one is that angle A is congruent. Angle A, the little corner one up here, is congruent to ABC, this one up here. That's what we were trying to prove all along. And our reasoning is that supplements of congruent angles are congruent. Look that up in video number 16. Supplement angles, supplements of congruent angles are congruent. Okay? Sounds a little confusing. If you go through this, watch the video again if you're really confused, pause it, look in your textbook to look up what these things are, and then start the video again. That might help you. Hopefully I've clarified some stuff for you. But this is the layout of a proof of an isosceles trapezoid with congruent base angles. Our next video is going to be isosceles trapezoid congruent diagonals. The layout of a proof for that. Isosceles trapezoid congruent diagonals. That's what we're doing next. See you next time.